All right, so two days ago, Tradelands got a new update, and uh, I just want to review it with you guys and uh, tell you guys about the update. So, um, they added some new furniture items. Some can be crafted at the carpentry station, and others must be bought for scrap at the new hidden vendor. I'll go over um, the new hidden vendor and where he is and uh, what they added at the carpentry station and new furniture items later. But, uh... Next, they also corrected the speed of the fox. They also uh, nerfed the phoenix. So whenever you use sails, it's going to be uh, slower. In the last update, they didn't just uh, make houses for mobile. They also made it so that mobile players can now paint their sails and stuff, which is kind of cool. They also um, changed the text or something from the team select page. Alright, so the new furniture they added are actually um, scrap rewards. They added the... Peony vase, I think that's how you pronounce it, which costs 200 scrap and 6 of any wood. The wood um, changes the color and wood type on the bottom and base of the vase. Same thing for the um, rose vase, which they also added. The rose vase is the same, just looks a little different, and there are roses inside the vase. The tulip vase is the same, except it costs 8 oak instead of 6. And the color of the flowers are, of course, yellow, and they're tulips, and the vase is a bit bigger. They also finally added teacups to the game, which cost 8 of any wood, and 150 scrap. So I'm going to be adding some teacups to my uh, cup collection, I guess. But that is all the furniture they added at the carpentry and blacksmith stations. Um, now I'm going to go over the hidden vendor where it is, and um, what is at the Hidden Vendor. So the Hidden Vendor can be found at Birkeland, actually, uh, at the Twin Tulips, which is a bar made by Epicmon. Um, Epicmon is the event coordinator for Tradelands, if you did not know that. Um, and yeah, he, uh, he made the uh, bar at um, Birkeland, the Twin Tulips. This merchant is a Scrap Rewards merchant, and um, everything that you get there must be purchased with scrap. Now, if you don't know, um, where the bar, the Twin Tulips, is, it's on the main island of Brooklyn, so the biggest island that is in the way back of the map. When you go to Brooklyn, you will be on the same faction that you chose in the main game, so, uh, don't worry about choosing another faction or anything. Also, if you don't want to sail all the way down, you can just reset, and you will immediately teleport straight to the docks of the main island of Brooklyn. And this is it. This is the Twin Tulips. It's a really nice bar. I like it a lot better than the bar at Nova and Whitecrest. If I had to rate each bar, I'd probably say this is the best, Whitecrest is the second best, and Nova's... Eh, I'm not really into it. Alright, so Horatio the Innkeeper is the NPC that sells all the scrap rewards. The scrap rewards that he sells are the cheese wedge, the slice of bread, the fish fillet, the baked potato, the pizza slice, the orange, a loaf of bread, cheese, ham, Birkeland pie, and pizza. But um, that's pretty much it for uh, the new update. Also, I wanted to talk about something that has been going on in the roleplay side of Tradelands. If you don't keep up with the Discord or with um, the roleplay events channel and the TLO Discord server, then you probably don't know about this. Um, but Hollingard uh, is having some problems right now politically. They are being blockaded by an unknown enemy. Um, no one knows who this enemy is. Um, many people have their theories, but it is not completely known um, who is blockading them. 
Yesterday, a Holland Guard actually failed to defend the island from the blockade, and people believe that they only have one more chance before getting conquered by this unknown nation or crew. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the new update, and uh, all the news I have from the uh, past week. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot and it shows me that you um, liked and uh, enjoyed my content. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and um, stay safe during this quarantine.